Okay, essentially we're going to talk about uh, Colin the Courageous, or Brother Kaepernick, as we know him, you know, the, the uh, San Francisco 49ers uh, football uh, quarterback, um, and all the stuff he's, 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 uh, he's brought up since, uh, since his action of sitting down, his action of sitting down uh, to protest uh, the injustices uh, in terms of the hands of the police and other violence that's done to the uh, well, to the black community in general, but uh, you know, black uh, well, killing people, you know, in the, in the name of I don't know what. Um, but there was an interesting quote. It's um, I, I don't have the thing with me right now, but it's, I guess it's a tweet or something. I don't do the tweets. I get, I get my stuff from 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 Google Plus. Um, but some the, the the sister posted this thing and says, well, you know, if 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 we if we stand up, you know, if we if we, if we so-called, you know, commit violence or something like that, uh, to make our point, uh, you you say, oh no, not that way. Then when we protest, you know, silently, like sitting down, you say, no, not that way. <laughs> That's not the right way either. And then this whole everybody's going crazy with this stuff. But look, I just want to uh, maybe talk about uh, oaths, vows, uh, pledges, and codes. Let's let's talk about that. Now. I took a, oh, there's nothing, hold a sec, Bob. Nothing I've got here. Let me see. Going to my, them bars are back. I brought it with me. Hey, this is my, this is my traveling uh, pouch. Uh, Sheriff Fitzpatrick gifted me back in the 90s. And I carry stuff in here like, uh, like oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. I ain't seen this in a while. I ain't opened this in a while. I mean, you know, I travel in general. Look, it's my shelter membership card. This is old. Oh, this is like from the time when they had it on uh, uh, West uh, 39th Street. Is it 39th Street? Yeah, 20 West 39th Street. Had to have a membership. And before then, you know, when you had uh, uh, when it was at uh, uh, on Varick Street, not Varick Street, on uh, uh, Hudson, down the Hudson Street area, you know, the Tribeca, you know, it kicked out of there. And of course, it comes from the tradition of Paradise Garage, which comes from the tradition of uh, you know um, uh, the gallery and the loft, Paradise Garage membership, blah blah blah. Oh, one so, but that's like a, a membership. You yeah, had to pledge enough like that. It's just a membership, so that, that doesn't count. I have my, oh, what's this in here? All right. I want to show you. This is a, oh, there's my VA card. I'm a veteran. You didn't know that? Oh, you know that now. You know, now I'm a veteran. I, I got a little disability and I have to go, go in the system, whatever. Hey, but, oh, what is this? Hey, this is more interesting. Oh, this is my, called D, my separation paper, my DD-214. I think that's what they call it. And to separate them while I was like, well, let me look at this. If I look at this, I better put that thing here. What does this say? Hey, this is interesting. Oh, look at that. What was I? Oh, hey, look, I, 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 I separated as a sergeant. Well, let me look at this more clear, closely. Hmm, I separated as a sergeant, but I've made sergeant in uh, 70. Two. That was interesting. Oh, E4. Separate as E4. Uh, honorable. Honorable discharge. Well, that couldn't be in the VA system unless I was honorably discharged. Anyway. Um, look at that. My wires. My last station. Like that. And uh, my. Uh, oh, my AFSC. Look at that. I was. Uh, I know what I was. What does it say here? I was. Oh, there you go. I was a medical laboratory specialist. Didn't have something like medical lab assistant. I was no assistant. Wait a second. Hey, hey. Well, we had our lab in McGuire. I was the well. We had it. We had NCO, you know, non-commissioned officer in charge. But uh, we had so. Like, I won't get into that. Look, look, the point is, um, there are there are memberships like I showed you. There are. Uh, or pledges that you take. You know, you might take a pledge, like Pledge of Allegiance, Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, blah, 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 blah. That's a pledge. You know, you, you, if you want to be a part of this group, you might take a pledge to be a part of this group. So that's that's something. That's something. Then there's, a, um, I guess you you call them like uh, vows, you know, like like a marriage vow, which, well, we won't get into my marriage vows. But you know, you take a vow. Like, for instance, my grandmother vowed to herself uh, that um, because certain things happened, my mother was in, in foster care and in the system, whatever have you. But she took all the all the, the her grandchildren from from her, her, her youngest daughter's side and and, 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 and put them together and, and raised them, you know. But she had vowed that that uh, she would dedicate the rest of her life to raising these six well well, well six children, uh, 
And so that's what she made a personal vow to herself. She didn't tell anybody. She told me this years later. Um, vow to herself. So you can make vows to yourself, then you make vows out loud, you know, like, like marriage vows, right? Then there's like, um, I guess you would call it, well, there's, there's oaths. You take an oath. Like, for instance, I know there's two oaths I've taken in my life. One, when I, in the military, when you have to get up there, and, you know, so you defend the country against all invaders, foreign and domestic and, and that kind of thing. And so that's an oath. When you take an oath, that's like really serious. You've got to li live up to that. You know what I mean? You got that? But the second oath I, 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 I took in, this, in a, almost like a, within a month's time period of taking that first oath from, for joining the, the United States Air Force, was the oath of the what they call the Hippocratic oath, but we know it, it comes after the, the, the guy, the medicine guy, you know. And that oath basically is that you know you would you would save lives, you know you would uh, basically that's what it is, you know you do your best to save lives. So those are only two oaths, and oaths are very serious that I've that I've taken, and I've actually followed those oaths. I've not killed anybody. I've have actually saved lives or tried you know, to save tried to save lives. Um, in fact, oh, it's a little long story, but when I, I went AWOL one time, technically I was AWOL, really, you know, you got to get caught to be AWOL. And I was at a movie theater in New York, and I just finished my medical training, and this cat right in the back of me had this epileptic fit, and I knew what to do right away, da 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 and I was just praying nothing would happen, so they would, they would put me on record, like, hey, he saved this guy, and blah, 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 then I would be reported for AWOL, you know how that goes. But anyway, so, so that's very, very serious. Then there's this thing I call uh, codes. So let's get back to um, to uh, to oaths, you know. What what what, what uh, Colin the Courageous, uh, my brother Kaepernick, did is he, he doesn't have to take any pledges. He to, you know, to, you, when you stand for the, the the flag, you know, that's not an oath or a vow or a pledge. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's none of those things. You know, so what's the deal? What 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 did he violate? You know, there's no violation there. He's protesting something. Now, if he had to stand up and say, pledge allegiance to the flag, that's something else. Um, but then there's this thing that's, that's, that I've, I've been like practicing, a thing called codes. Now, codes are almost like vows. They're like personal. You, you take a personal code unto yourself, and you live by a code. You know? So, so, so uh, and, and anybody can invoke a code. Any group can invoke a code. You can have a personal code. So maybe the football team has a code. But I don't know if it, I don't know what, what kind of code they have to kinder. But let, let me just hold on one second. I'll be right back for code code. I got my book right here. I got a book right here from the from from the code that I'm following or practicing or trying to get into more and more each uh, each day, month, year. It's uh it's from um, Neely Fuller Jr. Okay. Right here. All right, there we go. And I had it bound by uh, Lovedale Press, you know, famous press here. And uh, it doesn't come like this. It, it sort of comes like in a, you know, like that. But this is the original, not the original. This one came in, in 1984. He has an updated one that uh, that I gotta get. You know, maybe next year or some sometime I gotta get there. They don't ship to Africa, so I gotta figure out how to do. It. But it's, it's the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept. Compensatory just means like, hey, you can keep on building on it. And it's a textbook work for, for thought, speech speech and or action for victims of racism, which is defined as white supremacy. So since I consider myself a victim of what I call Anglo-racist white supremacy, uh, this is by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. So this is a code, you know? This is a code book, it's a code book. And you find it and, you, and you, you, you absorb as many codes as you wish, or not, I guess, you know, because it's a personal code. And in this code, you know, I can incorporate in this code, I can incorporate in a code like my oaths, these codes don't violate my oaths, you see. I can incorporate my vows. I vowed, and something took on when I was young, like in my 20s, I vowed, because I came from the South Bronx of New York City, I vowed, and it was, you know, the projects. I vowed, no more South Bronxes. And since, actually, since that time, I've been, I've been fi trying to figure out a way to, to have that, to, to honor that vow, no more South Bronxes. So, so with, with, with the code, the code helps me address no more South Bronxes. See, the code also um, incorporates my oaths, right? The code also would have a, a vow. So your highest thing you have is a code. So if, if, if Colin the Courageous, uh, Brother Kaepernick, if he decided that I have a code I have to live by, regardless of football or, 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 or whatever, you know, then I think the brother's probably doing right. Well, that's just me, T, from the Pattersons. 
taking a chance to bet, letting you know what I only suspect. 